So we've already created our 3D model of the dice that we're gonna be making in the shop. And now we need to uh, basically put a drawing on paper and uh, get some measurements from this so that we can easily make it once we get into the shop. So we're gonna come down to the Part Studio tab down here in the bottom left. And normally when you start a document in Onshape, you get a Part Studio and then an assembly. And then you can keep adding to these as needed. Um, so what we're gonna do is add a drawing now. So we, uh, for a mouse, you're gonna right click. And if you have a mouse pad, you're going to two finger click on that tab. And then you're going to click create drawing of part studio one. And we're just gonna do a simple ANSI A drawing. And up in the top left, um, it's, you wanna make sure you're on part studio. So, we're gonna go up here where it says part studio, make sure that's clicked and highlighted. Um, and then we're gonna take our dice, the part studio, click on that. And we're going to insert our views and I'm just gonna start with number one first. So the number one was actually the top. So if we click over here, we go top. We're just gonna put this over here somewhere. in the upper left hand corner. And, oh, it gives us our two next, so that works out perfectly. We'll just go ahead and put that a little bit over from the one. And then we're gonna do another insert up here. So we go up to the upper left, insert view, and we're gonna do the front view, which is the three. And then, let's see what they give us next. Well, that's not gonna work. We want the four next. So we're gonna go back up to insert view and we're gonna do the back view. So click on back view there and then you can bring that over. Okay. And they're giving us an isometric view it looks like. Um, We'll do that later, we don't need it yet. So let's do the left view, which is the five, down here. And what are they giving us the next three? Nope. We want the bottom. <clears throat> okay, so we have all of our sides there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, we don't necessarily need to put measurements on all of these because some of them are pretty easy to figure out. Number one, for example, if you draw an X in the middle of your, or on your square, you should be able to figure out where the middle is using a straight edge um, to draw that X. So it's not very difficult to figure out where to put that um, first one, but some of these other ones you might wanna have some measurements on. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that then on this uh, drawing. Let's put an isometric view on here just so we can see what it looks like when it's going to be uh, put together and finished. Uh, of course, we're not gonna have the welds in here. We didn't do that part. So I'm gonna go isometric and we're gonna put that over here somewhere. And then two finger click on it and you can turn that into a shaded view. So go show shaded view. There you go. And now you've got your isometric view of the model and you have all of your faces up here. So we're gonna put some measurements in. We need to know what size the holes are gonna be. So um, dimension tool is up here and there is a drop down menu here. You can use that if you want to, but usually if you click on dimension, depending on what you're clicking on here, it will give you the correct one. So we wanna click on the circle to get the diameter and that is a half inch diameter circle. So we're gonna drag that down out of the way so it looks nice. 
And these are, this box that comes up is going to be, you know, full of options that you can change. We're not going to change anything. We could change, um, you know, the decimal points after the 0.5 if we wanted to. We could just give it one because we don't need all those other ones. And then uh, we can hit it, escape or click off that box and then you'll be able to get out of there. So we're going to go back and do another dimension. Now we're going to do dimensions on the lines on the edges of the metal pieces. So those are right here. Okay, and you can see it's uh, 2.95, which um, we're actually going to make these three. So we're going to have to change that measurement um, when the box comes up here. So if it doesn't come up, we might have to go back and double click on that and then in here we can change this to three and then click outside and there you go you've got a measurement of three and then we're gonna do another one on the other side we can do it on the left side here pick that line there just to give us make sure we know that these are going to be three inch squares. Click off dimension and then you can double click on the 2.95 and change that to three again. And then somewhere out here you can just click and that'll exit. Um, okay so then we've got our three inch square we know that the uh, diameter is going to be half inch so we're going to use a half inch drill bit. Um, and then we're going to Put in some measurements for where we need to have like the two um, and then I think we could probably just skip some of these other ones and we could put in a measurement for the six um, and then you should be able to kind of figure out where these are all the other ones need to go like the five for example is going to be one in the middle and then the other ones are all going to be the same distance as this first one that we're going to measure the two if you look at that circle there it's in the same location here so once you have this one and this one measured out, realistically, you don't need to put many more measurements in there, maybe one for the six here if you wanted to, just to measure that middle circle where that's gonna be. Um, so we'll, we'll put this two in here and then the six and uh, we'll fill out the um, title block and we should be good to go. So dimension again. This time we're going to go from the center of the circle, that's where we're going to be drilling, to that line up here at the edge, upper edge of that. And you can see it gives us a kind of an odd measurement, 0.738. That's because when we broke this into a sheet metal model, it broke it apart, so it's not exactly three inches. Um, so we're going to change that to round it up and be at 0.75 which is three quarters of an inch. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing from the center to the edge. Just find a place where it fits and looks nice. And then we're gonna double click on that again and put in 0.75. Okay, so we know that that is going to be 0.75 down, 0.75 over, and this of course is going to be the same on the other side. So we don't need to put a measurement in there. Then the three, you've got one in the center. So if you put an X marks the spot for the center and then you measure two of those, you should be able to figure those out. Same thing with the four. The four is going to be three quarters down and over, just like the two, but you have a few more uh, diagonally on this, going this way. And then, for the five, same thing. You should be able to figure that out from these measurements. The six, let's put in one just for those center, the center hole there. So uh, from this center to the top, you've got about inch and a half. So it's, we're gonna round that up to, it says 1.475. We're gonna double click and just say 1.5, which would be halfway down the three inch square. And then just to make sure that we get in the spot we want, 
we'll go from the center of the circle over, which is gonna be that same as, as the two was, three quarters of an inch. So we'll change that to 0.75. And there we go. Um, you can drag these measurements wherever you want the dimensions to make make it make sense to you. And uh, just what you want to do here is make it so that you're able to, you know, make the those pieces, individual pieces, when you're in the shop. So if you want more measurements on each of these, you can go ahead and do that. But um, I don't think it's necessary, so I'm going to just leave it where it's at there. And we're going to put in a weld symbol up here. There's a weld symbol on the toolbar click on it and we're going to put in a weld symbol on this joint right here um, whoops X that out I think I need to go back and change that because I didn't get my information in there so I'm gonna um, just hit or highlight that and delete and we're going to put in our information first of all. So on the arrow side, which is the bottom of this weld symbol, we wanna have a V butt joint. So we're just gonna put that in there. We could put in the contour if we want to. Um, normally I say convex or flat. Um, so depending on the looks you want, you can go with either one of those. And uh, or we don't have to put anything in there. You can do your finishing there. If you wanted to grind it, you can do that. Um, or we can leave it. So I think if we just leave it, that'll be simple enough. We can just put in a um, the V butt joint there and then leave that. You can also put in measurements um, here for the weld if you want to put it in the weld size. Um, but we'll just leave it there for now. So that's all you need to select in here is that. Um, B butt on this box here. So when you click the joint and drag out, you'll get that symbol there. And that just tells us that we need a V butt joint in that corner. And we're gonna do that for every corner. So we could put a note in here um, with the A, the text box, and just say, weld all corners and we can just slide that out so it fits and you can change the size and font and all that stuff if you want to or you can leave it and then in the title block, we're gonna get out of that tool there. We're going to put three inch right here in the middle. Delete what's in there. And just put three inch metal dice. And check mark, we can delete these other boxes here. We have our name in there, the date, and our scale drawing. Um, so we should be good to go there. And there it is, that's your finished drawing. So if you wanna print that, um, then you're going to go to the three lines up here, go print. Oops, mine's not allowing me to do that. Otherwise you can go down here and go export and you can export a PDF copy. You can type in whatever name you want there. So three inch metal dice drawing. Oops. And we'll just leave everything else the same. It's gonna be a PDF and all that stuff. Export, and that's gonna go into our downloads folder. And then we can throw it into Google Drive or Dropbox or whatever. Uh, for storage and we can then later on when we go to build this um, print that off or look it up online on our one of our devices and then we have all of our measurements right there so this is in my downloads folder here it is there's the PDF copy
all finished up.